Good evening, YouTube. This is Carla here with Stanton Shenanigans, and I'm getting ready to do a low-carb uh, menu for a friend, Kaylee Wilson, that my husband works with, and she would like a low-carb stir-fry. So what we're doing is right now, I'm getting ready, and I know this is a lot of eggs, so I'm just putting a few out here. Um, what I like to do, Kaylee, is I like to I like to do everything separately. And when you're doing a stir fry, that's the key. The key to anything stir fry to make it come together, you want it to be done separately. So, um, let me go ahead and get a plate out here. Here's a plate. If you all will see a plate. And all I'm doing is just setting it over here to the side. And of course, my little Christian, he's over here trying to help me, my, my little buddy. And all I'm doing is just, I'm, I'm just doing some eggs up. That's all we're going to do right now. We're doing some eggs, and I've got a lot of eggs. And I do everything separately. So I did a... a, a menu before with uh, making some low carb stuff for my daughter but I used rice in with it. Are you helping me buddy? Okay. Well that's a good boy. Alright so all I'm doing here is just I'm just making some some eggs is all I'm doing guys. I'm just I'm I'm just stir frying some eggs at the moment and then what I'll do is put them on the plate here. Oop, let me move my drink over, guys. All right. So what we'll do is we'll just put them on the plate here. And all I'm doing, I want to do everything separately. Like I said, everything separately. And then at the end of the day, you put everything together. So it just, it, it's just a way of, I guess, cooking it. I, I don't know how much more to explain it. But anyway, we're purposes of the video we we've cooked the eggs so we're done cooking that so after that what I would like to do when we do a low carb menu a lot of times people like rice well rice is not a low carb unless it's like a brown rice well what I am using is what we call a cauliflower rice and I got this from Aldi this is a cauliflower with garlic and herb because I like a little more seasoning. Um, but this is from Aldi, hashtag not a sponsor, just so y'all know. And what I'll do is um, open this up. Actually, I'm going to have to get a pair of scissors because my body won't let me open it. So just give me one second, Bubba. You need to get out of Mama's way, buddy. All right. All right. So... We used a pair of scissors, and all I'm doing is just putting putting on the rice cauliflower is all I'm doing. And it's just because it's been in my freezer, so of course it's going to have, you know, uh, ice crystals and all that. So all we're doing is just cooking it. We're just... And what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put that, put that lid down a little bit so it kind of steams it so it will get it cooked a little bit more thoroughly. And like I said, we still have the eggs here. So this is just stuff from, and the eggs are seasoned. I just seasoned them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, and I'm also going to season with some sesame oil. And some sesame seeds, as well as some soy sauce. And let me get that out of the. Oh, that's that's Horchester. Hold on a minute. What I'm going to use is a tamari sauce. Tamari is just a substitute for soy sauce. And that's just because I prefer the taste of it. That's all. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and set that up. 
and turn this over. All I'm doing is using a riced cauliflower. It's a cauliflower that has already been cut up into what they call rice pieces, if you will. I, I don't know how much more to explain it, I'm sorry. Um, although it is garlic infused, so it's really, really good. And I've had this a couple times before, and I've all I've done is just thrown it in the microwave. This is the first time I've done a stir fry, so you and I are in this together. So this is what we're doing, Kaylee. So if you want to get a, a low carb menu, you're going to go to Aldi and you're going to get the riced cauliflower. They have plain riced cauliflower or they have garlic infused or garlic, uh, in, well, yeah, garlic infused. So it has garlic in it and I, I myself prefer garlic. So that's just me. So this is going to be a vegetable type of uh, uh, stir fry. So all I did was just do eggs, and then I'm going to do a stir-fry mixture also of, I've got onions and garlic. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in here with some carrots. And all we're doing is just, just adding on to the stir-fry because we want to just add layers. We want to add layers of flavor. That's all we're doing. Now, I'm not going to add a bunch of salt or anything because salt is going to be added with the soy sauce. So, or our tamari sauce, which is a, a form of soy sauce made from coconut enzymes. And so, all I'm doing here is just adding oil or olive oil. Uh, in fact, let me add a little bit more. Whoopsie daisy. And this olive oil is infused with... Um, CBD oil. Oh, oh excuse me. It, this is infused with CBD oil. This is from Alice CBD in Webb City, Missouri. You can go on alicecbd.com. This will help you in your body if you are dealing with any kind of pain or just really anything just to kind of help regulate your body along. You know, our bodies have endocannabinoids in them that let us um, absorb the good benefits of this medication that God put on our planet. So, you know, what we're doing here is just infusing that medication into our food. You know, and if you eat this good food and not have all these preservatives and stuff that are put in there now and go with natural foods, look at how more healthier you'll be. I used to weigh 400 pounds, people. I don't weigh 400 pounds anymore. I had weight loss surgery 17 years ago, and I've done my best to try to keep it off. There are times that I go a little overboard, but hey, it is... I. In the wintertime, I gain weight. In the summertime, I take it off. So, anyway, so this is our stir-fry that we're doing with the carrots, onions, garlic, and uh, salt, pepper, and rice, herbed cauliflower. I've also done the eggs, so they're done. We're not going to put those in until the very last minute. You don't want your eggs to be rubbery. So now, what I'd like to do is do a little bit more stir-fry stuff. So all this is, is just a frozen vegetable mix of stir-fry foods. And it has green beans. and has red, yellow, and uh, uh, green peppers. It has broccoli. It has just all kinds of good stir-fry stuff uh, that you would do, you know, s sugar snap peas, all of this. So what we're going to do is just let that sit here for a little bit. Just kind of let it sit and get cool, get, get the ice off of it. Just kind of, so what I'm going to do is just let that sit here for a bit and I'll put the top down on it. See, very cool. See how that goes down. My in-laws got this for me for Christmas last year. Was it last year, babe? I believe it was last year, and we have had so much fun with this griddle. Um, now, 
if I had a black stone, I would be even more happy. But let me tell you what, for our family size, because our daughter is very picky, picky with her food, so it's generally just my husband and I that uh, eat whatever I make. And our daughter, she, she does her own little thing, and she's a great little cook. Um, so this works out good for us as far as this type of grill. But boy, to be out and be outside and do the, the Blackstone, yeah, I would love to have one of those. If anybody would like me to try a Blackstone grill out for them, send me a message in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to uh, oblige by putting that on my channel and, and supporting as a sponsor. You know, that'd be great. I would more than happy be happy to do that. But anyway, so what we're doing here is we're just we're just putting back some life into these veggies and the rice cauliflower. So this literally looks like rice, but it's actually cauliflower. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put the egg back in here. And all I'm doing is just adding, I, I, I just am adding this and then I'm going to add some soy sauce. That's all I'm doing. Everything has had salt and pepper added to it already. All we're doing is just adding it together and just kind of manipulating it. And this is the tamari sauce, hashtag not a sponsor of this particular brand. This is just what I found at Walmart. It's just a tamari sauce. It's and tamari just means it's made from coconut enzymes. It's not an actual soy sauce. It's a it's a form of soy sauce made from enzymes of the coconut. So all I'm doing is just adding this to my stir fry. And I'm adding quite a lot because it's going to also evaporate the water that's in there. And I'm also a saltaholic, so I like my salt. And it smells absolutely like a Chinese restaurant in here right now. It smells so good. I wish I had smell-o-vision for you guys to see how good this smells right now. If you guys smelled this, you would be like, I am so ready to get me some fortune cookies. Yeah, you guys would be loving every bit of this. And I'm, of course, I'm a bunch of it's getting thrown over the side here because my griddle's just not big enough for what I need it to be for. But it just smells so divine in here. So what I'm going to do is just let this cook for a few more minutes. And then I'll, I'll mix it together a little bit more. But pretty much the gist of it is a stir fry with cauliflower, which is rice. So it's low carb. You add... Now, carrots are not going to be a low-carb veggie, unfortunately, and neither are snap peas. But as far as something low-carb, you could add your cauliflower rice, your eggs. You could do your tamari because you want uh, you don't want soy in a low-carb diet. You want tamari, which is made from uh, coconut enzymes. You can do your eggs. You can do your cauliflower. You can do green beans. You can do snap peas but you want to do just a bit because it's going to be sugar in the snap peas so with low carb you have to be very careful but you know just just do what you think is right for yourself you know for me i like this has broccoli it has carrots it has snap peas it has onions in fact i'm getting ready to add more onions and more carrots just because it's i like onions now, in a low-carb diet, you're not going to have a lot of onions. Onions are full of sugar. So you want to be very careful with your macros. The biggest thing you want to do with a low-carb diet is count your macros, or however they call that. I don't do low-carb myself, but I also don't eat a lot of bread. I don't... I just... That's just naturally me because of the weight loss surgery that I had. Um, I had almost 18 years ago. This year will be 18 years. I had gastric bypass surgery. I used to weigh 400 pounds. Um, the lowest I got to was 185. 
Right now I'm about 230 pounds, but in the winter time I always gain a little bit of weight. And in the summer I let it, it comes back off. So I think I count myself pretty lucky that I haven't gained all my weight back like a lot of people have, but I do watch what I eat, especially sugars, especially carbs. And with this type of recipe here, you still have some carbs. Of course, you're going to have carbs in most anything that you eat. There's going to be carbs, especially onions and garlic, you know. But without the onions and garlic, it, it would be flavorless. So, anyway, what we're doing here is just putting it all together. It's a vegetable stir fry. Um, we're just garlic and herbs, uh, rice cauliflower from Aldi. You know, and then some eggs, some tamari sauce. Again, this is just in the international aisle at Walmart. You can find it, um, although I don't like to support Walmart, but hey, you know, wherever you can find it. Hashtag not a sponsor, though, just so you know. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. If you try this recipe, please, by all means. Um, it's just a bunch of veggies. You throw it on a griddle. You throw some soy sauce if you want or tamari sauce on it. And you just go from there. That's it. You, you want to cook everything separate, then throw it together, put your soy sauce on it, and go. Um, if you have any questions or anything, by all means, please, down in the uh, descriptions, uh, let me know. Send me a message. If there's anything else that you would like me to cook, send me a message on my description down below on in the comments i'd be more than happy to demonstrate any kind of uh recipe anyway i hope you guys have a great night and i'll catch you on the next video have a great one guys